state and in our region and we are so excited to be the hub because we're the largest college of nursing in the state of Tennessee and we have been tasked to bring resources and to provide opportunities for our nurses. So the nurse leadership program was an opportunity for us to be able to provide a program that future nurse leaders, whether they were new or seasoned, could be able to really gain knowledge and skills and apply them immediately to their workforce. And then to train others and to kind of spread that, yes. it seems like. Yes, and to mentor. And so we're so excited about being able to provide that opportunity. And I know mm -hmm. you are very structured, lots of goals and missions that you see on your website that you kind of work toward. Yes, so we are focused on four foci. We're wanting to recruit, retain, so the pipeline for future nurses is so important to us. Collecting data to make policy decisions. And then the innovation to create, whether it's nurses wanting to build their own schedules or just nurses wanting to learn what else do we need to do to make sure that they stay with us. And then their well-being. They are suffering so many frustrated situations on a daily basis. We want to provide those resources. We want to be that hub for them. And of course, one of the ways that you do that is by getting this message out, answering all of these questions, and you do that through a podcast. Mm -hmm. And this is just beginning, I understand, its second season. Yes, we started our second season in August. The podcast has been rebranded recently. The second season really focuses on voices from the nursing front line. So this season, we are bringing staff nurses, we're bringing faculty, we're bringing students, we're bringing those nurses nurses that work directly on the front lines to provide care across multiple different settings to have conversations with us around those um, four, four foci areas. Um, so we're really looking forward to continuing the second season. Um, I'm the podcast host, which I never yeah. thought I'd be doing in a million years. <laughs> um, and I'm really enjoying hearing from all the nurse leaders, all the nurse educators, the students, the faculty about um, their experiences and how we can support them through the center. I bet you hear some incredible stories. Absolutely, every day. And I would imagine too, for those listening to the podcast, it is that sense of, I'm not alone. I have this community around me. Absolutely. And then you've got the leadership program, which can help them kind of address all the issues that they're going through. Sure, sure. And that's one of the reasons we rebranded the podcast, because initially we were on the front line, but now we're the voices of the front line. And Dr. Hall and, and her voice as being in academia and uniting healthcare and all of our venues to be able to support our nurses across the state is an opportunity we can't pass. And what are you hearing from those who have been changed maybe by the podcast, from those who have been listening? Well, one of the things that we hear pretty routinely is that nurses, irrespective of their area of practice or their care setting, um, academics, direct clinical practice, that we all experience the same situations. It's just varying degrees of um, challenges on different days, um, but we share so many of the same experiences that continue to connect nurses across, really across the globe. Um, we hear the same from n nurses from international um, areas. Um, you know, staffing is important. Um, direct care is important, the challenges that they face, burnout, workload, those types of things. So it's having that sense of community that really um, is uniting um, nurses. Oh, wonderful to hear about the program. Dr. Hall, Dr. Yes. Robinson, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. We're going to give everybody the website because this is kind of where you can go to get information on all the wonderful resources available. It is etsu.edu slash nursing and then slash there is the next one. AH Grown Nurses, all right there, and you can find that on ETSU's website as well. We'll be right back.